this is really exciting. Intriguing. Even though it doesn't affect the virus, they're not really sure. There's a couple theories out there about why it happens. But first, let me remind you and show you how an IUD works. Because in the U.S., only 1% of women make use of this fantastic form of birth control. I think it's because of the previous history of IUDs. And basically, almost 100 million women globally use IUDs. Basically, what happens is you put this device into the uterus, and it's going to cause a hostile environment to the sperm so that they don't get together with the egg. So there's no fertilization that happens. And the copper it forms a hostile environment for the sperm, keeps them from attaching, whereas the progestin keeps you from ovulating. So really great forms. Long-term contraception don't protect against STDs. Theories, theories about how they work against cervical cancer, potentially the, the immune system when it's boosted with the copper because it gives sort of an inflammation mm -hmm. type of uh, a reaction with the copper, that's what could potentially help fight against the HPV virus which causes the cervical cancer. The other theory is that when you insert it, things are released that may actually help to combat the cervical cancer but as somehow, well. somehow the theory somehow. is you're activating your immune system to fight off these cells infected with the virus. Right. Right. that could become cancers. It's intriguing. It's so really should intriguing. every woman out there talk All to their doc thing. about whether or not an IUD is right for them? Absolutely talk to them about it. But right now, this is not the first line of defense against cervical can cancer. Pap smears, ladies, pap smears are still the first defense plus getting the HPV vaccine.